one of the biggest changes. It's a very subtle change, and it really is sort of nuanced in by attitude, has been the surgence of research looking at early identification and really trying to apply the science and how we can get sepsis care to the right patient at the right time. There have been many tools that have been studied, such as news and SOFA and QSOFA and ESOFA and red sepsis flag and many, many others. But people are more interested in finding what that right tool is. And even if they don't find the right tool and no tool stands out, it's becoming it, people are becoming more educated about sepsis and looking at it and evaluating it in their facilities. My personal opinion, and I think it bears out in the research, that the next hot topic for sepsis is biologics. We really don't know what triggers that dysregulated host response in the patient. What makes 10 patients have the identical infection of cellulitis, but one come down with septic shock? So if we have a biologic that would identify that sepsis, that would be wonderful. And the other issue is not only identifying the sepsis, but treating the sepsis. There have been some intriguing studies that have come out looking at ways of non-antibiotic use, other biologic agents to really target that therapy to stop that whole progression to sepsis. So I think that is really where the high top research will be over the next many years. So one of the most important resources, of course, for any new sepsis coordinator would be the American Association of Critical Care Nurses, their website. There are links to people that do the sepsis work. There is a link to the evidence and many resources that would help any new sepsis coordinator get on target. Other links to certainly consider would be the Sepsis Alliance, which has a list server for sepsis coordinators. The other piece is the Center for Disease Control has great patient education material along with educational for providers and, and also for patients and their families. Um, the, the last piece I would recommend is certainly and probably the most important is to familiarize yourself with the CMS SEP1 bundle.